greatness. Do not want war. Do not come back. What's up, YouTube? Dmux here today. I want to do a quick review on Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. First of all, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is a really good movie. I think it's better than uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Definitely ups the ante in the sequel. You know, everything's darker, everything's more dramatic, everything's closer to home, I guess you could say. You know, it definitely deals with, like, family issues, dealing with who's really the monster, the humans, or the apes, and stuff like that. Like, who's to blame for humanity's, just, you know, downfall with the disease and whatnot that goes on throughout the film. It's really good, you know, definitely, Andy, the motion capture is amazing in this movie. I mean, Andy Serkis was a great performance as Caesar. Toby Kebbell as Koba, you know, everyone else in the cast, you know, the humans are, they're alright, they're not bad, the humans are usually, they actually do stick out, kind of, stick out well in the movie, they're not like, oh, they, why, why are they here, that type of thing, it definitely still feels like, they don't feel like they're, at that, at, at, the apes don't feel like they're at that point where they can officially talk, talk, you know what I'm saying, they're still using communication with the sign language and whatnot, and I'm really liking it so far, it really is cool, you know, we, it really is about the apes, you know, about them coming to, come, Declaring war on the humans basically is getting to that point where yeah, this is where everything just lets loose. I'm really liking it so far. I can't wait to see what the third film has in store for us. I mean, the action's cool. You know, there's definitely a lot of dark moments. I mean, he's just, like I said, Kova, the main villain, um, kind of main villain in the movie, is really good. I will say that Gary Oldman's character was a bit underutilized in this movie. It kind of felt like he wasn't really a villain, but at the same time, it's like eh. Like I said, I felt like Gary Oldman's role wasn't very strong in this movie. Maybe it should have been a little bit more in there. Maybe there were some like deleted scenes they cut out just because I have no reason. I mean, it's just seeing everything in action, like apes on horses. That's badass, you know. Caesar's family all there, and seeing what you know the different sides of the story have. You know, Koba he doesn't like humans because they experimented on, but Caesar has a has a soft spot for humans because he was raised by humans in a way. So there's that. I'm really, like I said, if you haven't seen Dawn of the Play Apes, go check it out. I think it's a really fun time. It's gonna get you the feels at points, maybe not the feels, but you know, it's definitely gonna have moments where you really think about, hmm, who really is the monster here and whatnot. I'm really looking forward to whatever the next Planet of the Apes is gonna be. I mean, this is really an amazing work by, you know, with the motion capture. I think it's it's groundbreaking. All, everything's good. Everything's well shot. Everything is, the pacing is well done. Like I said, I just few mis, uh, mishaps with like character development on the human side, but hey, we came here to see the apes ride on horses and fight to the death with other with humans so I think that's really cool anyways guys go check out Don Plain so let me know what you guys think about the film and like subscribe more content to me on all the films in general I'm Dimalex I'll see you in the future